The Top Cat Center was established in 2009, and its mission is to make human electricity and transportation systems more sustainable. We are very active in research, education, outreach, and innovation transfer. Climate change is really the defining challenge of our era. One of the reasons I think the TomCat program is so exciting is that it puts the focus right where it needs to be on the details of the implementation in order to make proven technologies really work. The TomCat Center has a seed grant research program which is intended to help promote high-risk, high-reward research that is very early stage. So the idea is that we could give seed grants to faculty and their groups to carry out important research in the area of sustainable energy with the hope that uh, if they get some initial results and um, successes, then they can go out and raise additional external funding for that. In total, we've given out about four and a half million dollars in funding to many different researchers across this campus. In the work that I do, we're largely focused on improving the efficiency of solar cells, whether they're photovoltaic cells or photoelectrochemical cells. And it was really fantastic that Tomcat was willing to invest in a slightly longer term, more fundamental project, really uh, lay the path for pretty exciting research in the years to come. My research uh, focuses on figuring out how can I exploit the way we coordinate demand and supply uh, to reduce the cost of adding more renewables. What was great about the Tomcat opportunity was the chance to really work on solutions and solutions that work for real people, real technologies, real ecosystems. One of our goals at the Tomcat Center is to uh, educate and train the next generation of leaders in sustainable energy and so we take the educational component of what we do very seriously. Another program that we launched about a year ago is our uh, summer internship program. Through this, we allow a number of undergraduates here at Stanford the opportunity to work in startup companies in the area of sustainable energy. So we provide them with a stipend and really an unparalleled experience. This past summer, I interned for Flame Stower, and it was a company of three people. I was the fourth intern. This was through the Tomcat Center Sustainability Internship Program, um, which gave me a stipend and connected with, with other students who are doing similar things and also was just a great support network um, for me doing my first full-time internship, which was kind of a big step. The Tomcat Center promotes sustainable energy outreach by hosting events and supporting publications. It's been my thesis for a long time that Stanford, for a variety of reasons, including technical and policy-oriented and the broad range of what we do, is uniquely positioned to take a leadership role on this. The Tomcat Center launched our uh, innovation transfer program about a year and a half ago. This was motivated by a desire to really have our work uh, have the biggest impact it could. We also wanted to help get these wonderful uh, inventions and discoveries out of the laboratory and uh, in use in the energy systems globally. Tomcat funding was really important to us because we had developed an idea at the bench scale that looked very promising, but this idea is only a few gallons per day of water being treated. The Tomcat Center funding allowed us to move to a Delta Diablo in the North Bay and build a pilot facility and test it there, and that was critical for uh, proof of concept at a believable scale. Well, the Tomcat funding really came at a critical time for us. That allowed us to you know, hire more people, get the necessary equipment, reliability chambers, etc. I think the number one thing we got from Tomcat was early validation. Before we received any uh, grant funding from the federal government, before we received any venture capital funding, all of which we have now, uh, Tomcat was the first organization to say, there's something here and we want to support it. Uh, and not only was it funding, it was constant connections to opportunities, potential customers, potential employees, uh, potential partners. For too long, we have equated energy with the consumption of natural resources. Apart from being cheap and clean, Data is different from all other resources. It is the only resource which is growing. If we're successful in our mission, we can dramatically reduce the soft cost of a solar PV installation. If we can allow our solar installers to go all the way from performing a preliminary site assessment to generating a permit set in one streamlined application, then the possibilities are, are huge in terms of um, making solar installations um, competitive with uh, conventional energy sources. What we can do together is much bigger than what we've done so far. And that's really something I care a lot about and hope will happen.